Nice to have you with us. Six feet four. 
She says, can you be up here next Thursday? That audition launched him onto stages in Belfast and Dublin, where he caught the attention of a film director who was casting the 1981 cult classic, Excalibur. He's our best and our greatest. Neeson's professional epiphany came, of all places, during a 1986 guest appearance on Miami Vice. Sean! Sean! When I checked out in the hotel, I was the guest star of that week, so it was a sweet. I was never in a sweet in my life. And I turned to the television, and it's a huge close-up of me from this miniseries, Ellis Island, I've done. I don't know, like, that's me. <laughs> I remember thinking, I'm supposed to be here. <laughs> Spielberg's iconic Schindler's List, which won seven Academy Awards, including Best Picture. The flipping people. Six hundred. I was coming to this play in New York by a musician in New York called Anna Christie, of course. And I went and did that. Met my Tasha Richardson, and we eventually got married. Anyway, Stephen and his wife Kate. Kate's mother came to see me. Right. And Kate's mother was looking quite emotional. I gave her a hug. And apparently, when they were driving on, Kate said to Stephen, that's just what Shandra would have talked about. Now, that's the story I heard. Stephen has told me it was my screen test that got me the part. Neeson earned an Oscar nomination for Best Actor. Shot Schiller's list at the gates of Auschwitz. Emma. I was looking at the huts, the real huts. And Bronklin Rustic, who's no longer with us, God rest him, is one of the registers. And he came up to me and he said, I see that hut over there. That's where I was. He says, What? He says, Yeah, I was, I was in that hut. I was six years of age. Mm. And knowing my legs went like that, and I really, really got scared. I thought, This is. This isn't acting. This is this is something else here, you know. Should read the street papers. Neeson won over new audiences playing a Jedi Master in the billion-dollar Star Wars prequel, The Phantom Menace. Taking these people to Coruscant. And a widower and loving father in the enduring classic, Love Action. Oh, sorry. That's okay. My fault. In 2008, Neeson's career took an unexpected turn. Oh, yeah. With the wild success of the action thriller, Taken. I don't know who you are. Are you aware of the cultural phenomenon that your speech became? But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. I will look for you. I will find you.
All right, a good Sunday morning. Well, we are starting off so frigid in so many places, but the sun is shining, and that's going to rebound the temperatures a little bit this afternoon. Here are the lines look outside of those bright blue skies. Enjoy it today. We're going to see temperatures into the upper 30s later on today, but right now 19 in Winchester, 18 in Gaithersburg, 25 in D.C. By this afternoon, 83 degree, uh, 38 degrees, excuse me, 48 on Monday, into the 50s Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday before we plummet to the 30s on Monday. Have a great day. Ahead on Sunday today, our highs and lows of the week, including the viral moment when a gold medal Olympic curler called back home to Wisconsin to tell his family he'd be leading the United States into the Olympic Stadium in Beijing. But up next, with the Rams and Bengals getting ready for next Sunday's big game, Harry Smith looks at the warp speed evolution of sports gambling from an underground taboo to league-sponsored betting in the palm of fans' hands. I'm the master of time.